Hello everybody, this is my 1954 Ferguson TO Model 30, uh, made in Highland Park, Michigan. I uh, got this tractor willed to me uh, from an estate of a dear family, family friend that we lost uh, just before Thanksgiving of 2015. So I brought it home shortly thereafter. It been sitting outside, and uh, just go through what I've done so far, and and I'll give it a start for you, so you can hear it run. Um, didn't have these headlights on. It had square off-road lights on. I don't know why. Neither one of them worked. It wasn't wired. The wires were cut. So I put these. Uh, one was on the back, and this one, uh, the other one, I found in uh, one of the outbuildings over there. Uh, uh, if you notice here in the front on the left side, I take, I've taken off one of the brackets. Um, the other ones I'm having a hard time with getting it off, but I'll get it. There's a guy in, uh, England that would like to have it. I don't have the implements for, for the front end anyway, so I might as well pass them on to somebody who can use them. They're kind of hard to come by, I guess. So, uh, <clears throat> Been converted over to 12 volt. The wiring was kind of a mess. I've cleaned it up underneath here and behind the panel here. Um, I can open the hood, I guess. I, I put in a new battery, and I've I've done some wiring changes. It ain't nothing, you know, perfect or anything, but it works. Um, I know I've seen some of the 30s with uh, a little toolbox you know here on the side and I know they come on the 20s for sure but I, I ain't been able to find one other than a, a new one uh, online and I just throw my tools up in there and what I don't throw up there I, I put in this little ammo can that I attached with a little cushion on top for yeah the granddaughters grandkids you know if they want to ride around with Grandpa for a little bit, they can ride. Uh, <clears throat> I did uh, get some uh, Fergus, Massey Ferguson gray paint, implement and tractor paint, at uh, Rural King. Uh, and I've been doing a little bit of, little bit of painting. It ain't perfect. I ain't, I'm not doing no uh, ground up restoration or anything. Um, can't afford it. Don't have the tools to do it myself, but I'll take some of this stuff off, uh, paint the side of the motor better, and then paint paint them up the coil and the starter and stuff like that. I'll get them painted up black. I uh, got to do most of the front end. I haven't touched it all. I did spray the uh, fuel tank, as you can see. I don't care, you know. I mean, I'm not. I gotta I gotta take the fenders off. I'm not looking to make it a show tractor i just want to have a little fun with it um it'll still look better than if i didn't do anything all this um that i've painted so far and including the back here uh had all since it'd been sitting outside it all turned it was like green and rust and faded and a terrible looking um the fenders didn't do it i'm gonna hit them with some paint here uh, sometime clean them up but you know the seats in good shape I just put a cushion on there for the sore butt uh, gotta flip these arms around there he, someone put them on backwards and I gotta flip them back around the right way have really messed with the PTO too much it works uh, arms lift up and down I actually brought home a, a rotary uh, chopper uh, lawnmower and uh, or grass cutter, whatever woods woods cutter, and a uh, scraper blade. So I, I do have those that 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 stay here with me. So uh, I don't know if I'll have any use out of the uh, mower or not, but. I have it. Um, 
This tire here looks like it's pretty new. Still got the center rib, you can see and everything. This one over here, it's checked. This is this right here was torn real bad. And uh, I laid some uh, rubber glue in there. Then I took some self-tapping screws and I screwed it along here, brought it back together and sucked it up, let it dry for a few days. And yeah, it's holding. That's all I can ask for. Um, when I first brought it home, I cleaned out the uh, uh, the glass uh, sight bowl on the other side. I uh, changed the oil out in my uh, oil air filter. Um, I changed out all the hydraulic oil, transmission oil, same thing. I didn't do the oil change because the oil still got kind of a, a gold color to it. So the manual says when it loses that gold color and turns dark, it's time to change it. So I'll just wait until I see that. I uh, got a bit of a leak off of this um, U-clamp where they got it flanged in. On this back side, it'll puff out smoke and you, it'll miss now and again you hear it up you know pitter puffer but not exactly sure what i'm getting into yet on that have to research it some more uh i don't even know if they've got it on in the right place or not um the screws for this are you know going here they go in from the bottom and they're uh <laughs> they're phillips heads now i don't know uh, how ridiculous that is, but I'm gonna probably have to take the whole manifold off just to get them burned out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Um, I greased it all up. It, it runs down the road real nice. The brakes seem to be fine. They're working. They don't seem to be making any noise. Um, eventually. You know, the the hood ain't the greatest. It's, you know, it's got a little wear and tear and, you know, dings and... But overall, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You can see a little, little dent right there and, you know, a little bit... Not, not really a dent, but these are little, like, bumps, you know, a little divot right there. Hey, it's 1954, right? I'm not going to get excited. I am going to change the grill it's been it's been run something run into it or it ran into something some of the fins are bent a little bit and down at the bottom you can see there's a lot of corrosion i'd like to get that off of there um other than that uh it's it's a it's a pretty nice little tractor i, I kind of like it they're they're kind of unique because <clears throat> they came after the ford ferguson and before the Massey Ferguson uh, merger, and they uh, they have a real uh, different way of of starting the tractor, which most people wouldn't associate with starting a tractor. Usually, it's a keyed switch or a you know momentary switch on uh, somewhere mounted down in here somewhere. Well, you see, I don't have that. Some of them may even have a push switch somewhere, and it just don't have that. But uh, I'll show you how it starts, and uh, see if you don't like. Oh, I do have a. I don't never use it. it. Seems to start just fine. That's a choke. Anyway, I'll start it up for you. Here's my switch. Um, I'll, it's it's uh it's on low right now. I'll just leave it on low. See if she'll start. All the way over and up. Starts right up. Made some adjustments on the um, carburetor. It was turned out way too far. Uh, it's only supposed to be turned out um, one turn on the uh, main jet thing here, and and then I'll show you. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. 
Uh, and this one right here, it's only supposed to be turned out one full turn. And then your your uh, your idle screw right here, it gets turned out three quarters of a turn. And that, I think it's a, it's like the main jet back there, the big one. It was turned out two and a half turns, and I'm surprised that it even run as well as it did then. But I got home and got the book because I got stranded, and the guy had to pull me home. And uh, I got the book out, and it said, "Yeah, one one turn is all you get." So it, it's working. I mean, it starts nice. It's running well. Uh, got to add lead lead substitute to the fuel. I did add a, uh, I'll, I'll show you my lights work and then I'll shut this off. Got the headlights working good. And, it, and that, that switch runs, starts it. And if you turn it, you know, all the way this way, like it is right now, it turns the lights on. Turn it back, lights are turned off. You know, um, Yeah, I like it. It's a nice little tractor. I painted up the uh, center weights or whatever on the... <laughs> I got to do the the outside rim yet. I did both sides. I want to take the fenders off eventually, and I'll probably take the tool. I'll have to take the toolbox off, and I'll paint that gray as well. But I'd like to get the the back light over there wired in for uh, when I got the tractor running. It runs all you know like a hazard flash. It's LED, so shouldn't bother it to run that way but overall it's a nice little tractor I mean I'm pretty tickled with it it's kind of unique you know like I said they I watch all the tractor shows and you rarely see them uh, if you want to learn more about the Ferguson you got to go to YouTube pretty much and there's a lot of videos from guys over in in England but those are different the the TEAs and that they're different some of them start with a key some of them start with a push button uh, but I don't think any of them start with the shifter lever like the 30 does over here maybe the TO20 does but I'm not sure pretty neat I like it Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.